Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch Version 1 video. And today, we're back in x -Plane. And today, we start at St. Bartholomew. We haven't been here for a while. Now, we are finally back. I know you guys missed this island. But why, Swiss? Why would we be here? Well, this island has water surrounding it. Makes sense. What we're gonna do today is actually have a water evacuation and see a plane drown. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we're gonna test some water emergency scenarios. So, we'll basically land planes in water or in this case overrun planes into water and have a water evacuation we're just gonna see what's gonna go on and how the sinking progress of a plane is you know what let's just begin right so we're gonna start off this video with a normal overrun so basically we will overrun the runway and run into that water and we're gonna see what happens okay this makes sense let's go ahead and take off right flaps are set let's go full power shut up right let's try to get this butterbur taken off hello passengers we are about to fly I hope you enjoyed your vacation at St. Bartholomew Island. Let's go. Oh god, that's a tail strike. Oh no, go around, but <gasps> we can't go around. Okay, so it seems like we are in the water. For some reason, the engines are still running. Oh no. Okay, passengers, we have a water emergency thing. Please get out of the aircraft ASAP. Now, obviously, you would just go ahead and evacuate the aircraft, which is what we're doing right now. Let's go. Open all the doors. There we go. Let everyone go out. Let's also use the emergency exits. Now the back doors also have to be opened for the non-existent passengers, which is kind of awkward, actually. Now this plane is still on surface, but it's gonna drown really soon. You wanna get those people out of the aircraft real quick. Okay, all right, after we have even opened the aircraft, well, this is really rough sea to say the least. We're gonna shut down all the systems. We should have probably done that earlier. I don't know. I actually don't know the procedures. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even doing. We could just go ahead and keep chilling in here, but that's not not gonna work because we are actually drowning we just really want to see how a drowning plane looks like now as you can see the plane is already filling with water and both wings are almost entirely in the water as well as you can see the back of the aircraft is entirely drowned already this looks really weird without waves <laughs> wow this is what it would look like on a lake on a very chill lake to say the least and after like 20 minutes only really the cockpit is still kind of in the air i mean well, it's probably not flooded yet, but that's not gonna last for long. Let's get some waves back in here. I'm not comfortable seeing that. There we go. This looks a bit more comfortable. But as you can see, only the winglets are kind of sticking out. But also the vertical stabilizers are kind of dying. And the cockpit is still not flooded yet. But that's not gonna last for long. Can we have a look into the cabin, kind of? Yeah, as you can see, the seats are entirely underwater. Now, after some time, even the cockpit will be flooded. It will barely be acceptable. And the plane is gonna drown really soon. It's gonna flip to the side and it's gonna be gone AF. Obviously, the last to disappear is the tail wing, but after that, we're dead. You know, this is an absolute bra moment. moment. And right now, the plane is gone. So, oh, so here it is. Uh, we still have a tail wing and a winglet showing up sometimes. You know, this is just what I'm talking about. And yes, this process would be around a few hours, maybe half a day. I don't even know. Like, I'm not quite sure if the timing is correct, but this is what an aircraft drives look like after some time. Now, obviously, we're going to try several aircraft today. We have several planes to take a look at, which we are going to do, obviously. Let's try a smaller jet now. All right, let's just go ahead and take off in this Challenger 300. Let's have a normal takeoff. All right, full power. All right, this takeoff was fine, but what's going to happen next? Oh, no, both of our engines failed because of birds let's go let's go die oh my god we even have an electrical failure we actually do shoot can we try starting the apu again yeah okay now we have electrics back let's land in the ocean all right adc we're landing in the ocean we're landing in the hot sun. you know i don't think it's appropriate to have landing gear when landing on water i mean it's gonna fall off anyway so who cares all right call the coast guards hey let's have a safe landing right oh god oh god i'm kind of nervous not gonna lie we're kind of far from the coast already so uh oh shut up i don't want to make this too hard okay we have ditched into the ocean uh oh we're kind of bouncing let's get all the lights on all right passengers this is uh your briefing we're gonna leave the aircraft right now let's go open the freaking doors there we go okay also you on the toilet please 
Oh. Please leave the aircraft. Okay, after leaving the aircraft behind and hopefully being picked up by the Coast Guard. I mean, you're quite far from the island. Are the engines still running? Oh, no, that's the APU. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Let's also turn off the electrics before we go. We have turned off the electrics. We are now ready to go. Goodbye, gamers. Now, this plane has temporarily turned into a boat, and now it is transforming into a submarine. How about that? All right, obviously, this aircraft is much smaller, so it's gonna sink much faster. Right after 20 minutes, we are kind of sunken already. It's not taking a long time for this aircraft to sink, to say the least. Yeah, water is already in the cockpit and basically in the back of the aircraft. Even though there are still pilots, please get out of there. You guys really need to get out of there. You're gonna die. You don't want to die. And after some time, like another 20 minutes, this plane will be kind of almost gone entirely. Also, there's smoke, but that's not realistic. That's uh, alien. Only the tail wing is really still there, actually. <laughs> and yes, a legend says that this plane is still smoking, even though it's underwater, which is kind of not realistic. Now, the last plane that I wanted to try was a double-decker, and this is the one that we're going for. Very nice. Now, obviously, it's a 747. Um, actually, we have never had a 747 landing yet. Have we? I think we have. Never mind. I think there was actually an overrun at Kaitak once of a 747. So, you know what I'm gonna do. Kaitak. Alright, we are approaching Kaitak. Talk. Let's go ahead and approach Tai Ka Ta Ka. Uh. Right, we're having a perfectly normal approach into Tai Ta. Ta uh. Let's go and land, shall we? Oh no, I think we slightly missed the runway. How embarrassing. All right, let's stop and evacuate the aircraft. And we're kind of spinning around. I think in real life we would be dead. But this is not real life. Got him. All right, we have no cabin. In. We do. We do have a cabin. Oh my god, I didn't even know this. For passengers, please leave the aircraft. Okay, this is the only bathroom anyway. <clears throat> Time for exit. We're gonna die in here. Yeah, we kind of missed the runway. So, yes. We're gonna shut down everything. I have no idea how to do this. Yeah, let's cut off these engines. I don't even know what's going on. All right, the engines are going down. Let's just leave the aircraft before it sinks again. All right, now you can walk onto the wing and save yourself. But after some time, the wing will also disappear into the water. Very sad. Uh-oh. Only the wing tips are now showing up. Now, this thing is sinking faster than Titanic right now. And as you can see, the first floor is already flooded. This is not gonna stay alive for longer. Now, the wings on the 747 are kind of bent, so the tip of the wings will probably go down last. But yeah, after some time, the front of the first floor will be gone. Very sad. Now, surprisingly, this aircraft, the front fills first with water. Oh, oh, oh god. I hope there are no pilots in there. Oh, there are. Oh, Jesus, leave the aircraft, please. Yeah, only the upper floor is kind of alive still, with the exception of the cockpit. That is probably in entirely flooded. Yeah, most of the fuselage is in the water already. Hey, container ship, please pick me up. Bitch. And after some time, only the back of the aircraft will be on the surface. And the winglets, kind of. They're showing up sometimes. And after like many hours, probably, we will only see the tail wings show up, which is the last part of the aircraft to sink. Very sad. So yeah, we are in Hong Kong, and this part of the river lake complex is actually not that deep, so we will probably probably not see the whole aircraft actually sink, which is why this part of the aircraft is not sinking, which is something that actually makes sense. Very sad, I know. Alright gamers, thank you for watching today's video, and we'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.